right everyone here we are with ticker symbol fcel fuel cell energy inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so fuel cell had a slight pullback it hit lows here of about 657 658 give or take and from that point forward there has been a slight recovery it broke through the 50-day moving average on Wednesday, and now Friday, it has broken through the resistance. It's working its way up, and it's leveled off at 975. Now, I use this point here as one of the highest points, 989, and it's almost there. If that gets broken through, this will start to see newer highs as long as it stays above it because it did slightly break through it, but then it fell back down, and it's leveled off at 975, but it's getting closer one step closer at a time as this continues to pull itself up through the innovations and excitement of the outlook of this company now this is the highest point i know this candlestick goes all the way up to almost eleven dollars and thirty cents but the volatility was immense in that 30 minute time frame so i don't really like using it as a reference but it still is a key point because once that number gets broken through 11:30, this will start to see newer highs that it has not seen before in the last couple of months and almost the whole entire year. So I want every single investor to be aware of that as well. Now, one thing that is looking positive is that every quarter, even though it's in negative earnings, it's getting better and better. It's moving itself up. I mean, this one was at negative uh, 0.23. The next one was negative 0.20. Then it went to 0 0.07, 0 0.07. And I mean, the next one is an estimate that's 0 0.06 and it might just get better over time. Now, when you look at it from this perspective on the yearly, um, 2019 was not the best and every single year has not been the best. But 2020, I assure you that it's going to look a little bit different than this. Because when you look at this in the quarterly perspective, it's been working its way up and becoming a lot better when it comes to the net income compared to the revenue right revenue is staying slightly the same but net income is a lot closer right it went from negative 35 negative 40 to negative 14 negative 15 and revenue has grown over time now what they need to focus on is their profit margin which that's going to probably come in the next couple of months maybe um in the next years that they're going to be able to to fix that for the next quarters or hopefully in the next coming year but 2020 is going to look a little bit better than these which is also going to attract more investors in the near future if the innovation and the revenue and income continues to grow i mean the technicals are showing it to buy and overall fuel cell has been really dominating in their sector um, in the sense of expanding right they've been dominating in that area they've been expanding probably one not the most out of all of them but one of the most out of the whole sector and everything that's competing in this same uh type of industry so fuel cell is doing really well they're doing their best at expanding they've been expanding since 2019 and you could just see that fuel cell has that potential and the bulls are really doing their part they've been trying to keep this up even after this slight dip so here we are at 975 let's see what our new resistance level is and also what our new support is and keep in mind where the 50-day moving average sits so let's look at this oh and also before i move that 803 is the most important support level below the 50-day moving average so if you want to write that down you're more than welcome to for the next coming days and weeks depending on the volatility of this stock so the 50-day moving average is 849 i'd write that down super important that lets us know on what side of the chart we're in if we're in bullish territory we're above it if we're in bearish territory we're below it and our support level here right based off the chart is actually at this point let's see if i can get this to the to the t here because it's reacting all over the place there we go so let's see there we go excuse me for that but the support level here is 928 i highly encourage every single investor 
to pay close attention to how this stock is reacting if it breaks through 928 how quickly is it moving to newer lows are the bulls trying to reappear before this reaches the 50 day moving average and bring itself back up those are the things that you want to watch for and the behavior is super important of this stock how it's reacting if it breaks through support now between the 50 day moving average and support you have that window of time too to see where this is going and if the bulls are having time to reappear before it breaks through the 50 day moving average or if this is getting dominated by the bears super important to watch that and pay close attention within that area now if by any chance support which is 928 gets broken through and the 50 day moving average at 849 gets broken through then you have the support level down here of 803 to watch and see if the tug of war starts where the bulls reappear or are the bears just tearing this one down if 803 gets broken through this could be on its way to newer lows pulling further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction but before worrying about any of those numbers down there the first support level is 928 and i highly encourage every single investor to pay close attention to how the stock is reacting now on the other hand we have our resistance and that's 1022 if that gets broken through the bulls are trying to do what they do best which is dominating this and bringing it further up into bullish territory they're going to be able to be pulling it away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction turn that into a support and start to reach newer highs and new resistance levels so 1022 if that gets broken through that needs to be turned into a support so that the bulls can continue this momentum continue to maintain themselves in bullish territory so the 50 day moving average doesn't catch up to them and they can pull away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction so 1022 does need to be broken through and turn into a support so that the bulls can continue this bullish territory and this trajectory of momentum in an upward movement so i do want every single investor to be aware of that as well so 1022 is our resistance and it needs to be broken through by the bulls and turn into a support as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that i post share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money at the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened. And I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets on these dates the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here and i break it down into more detail in the video but just to summarize it on these dates the s p 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose like for example this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 35.11 and the highest point reach was 35.57. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 35.88 and it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 36.23. When you do the math, that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump. And there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now, I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news, on the opportunity 
to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps. And it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 3388. That was an 80-point jump. There was probably ticker symbols rising up more than $3 per share on those dates. And even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than $3 per share. Check it out. See for yourselves. And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index. And you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.